Yeah, back again for more uh, war game European escalation action, and yes, it's going to be on the airfield map. And I believe this is, I think, conquest. Which tells will tell me the game mode. All right, <laughs> tell me the uh, game mode beforehand. But yeah, basically uh, here, bas instead of um, destroying enemy uh, infantry and equipment to get uh, score points, um, yeah, you basically need to hold. A uh, whole bunch of these circles at once by having a uh, vehicle in them, and I'm pretty sure yeah the game is actually won as soon as you control a certain number of circles. In this case, 14. So rather than uh, counting up a timer or anything like that, yeah, you basically just have to control 14, and that's it. So it looks like I'll be playing as the Pact, Light Man and Glaf here. Uh, like me, myself being Light Man as a Pact, and NATO is going to consist of Nikopol Yuzny and Soot. So I just changed the. Uh, Perspective a bit there. There we go. So now it's from uh, our perspective. So Glaf is on the right. Uh, sorry, on the left, <laughs> and uh, arm on the right. And I don't think I've uh, played this mode very much at all, actually. In fact, I think this particular game might have actually been the first one I've played. So I'm not. I don't think I'll be too surprised at the actual results. We'll see what happens. So we'll just see what um, everyone's spawning. Looks like my ally's spawning like a crap load of T62s, all in his own. And uh, yeah, also saying I'll take Gregory. Probably not entirely necessary. But what the hell? That is saying that he'll attack uh, Delta, or maybe he's telling me to attack it. And there we go, the uh, game is afoot. So we'll just uh, slow things down a bit. There we go, so let's have a look. So we've got mostly a um, couple of uh, cheapish uh, gunship helicopters for Glaf here, T62s, uh, recon vehicle of some sort, uh, a few more recons. Whoa, he's got crap loads of command vehicles. I'm not really sure if I agree with that. And yeah, of down Joe Nuts now back. But, uh, <laughs> Indeed, yes, he'll be on YouTube. And yes, yeah, so myself, I've gone in with uh, mostly light forces, Tunguskas, uh, UAZ Faguts, uh, T-55s, Armored Recon, more Armored Recon, and looks like I've also got a force coming in to take the uh, Gulf sector as well, so mostly seems to be BMPs of infantry, crap loads of BMPs of infantry, as well as uh, Command Armor. Should be interesting. As for allies, yeah, they mostly got uh, Bradley AFEs. And oops, there we go. Also has uh, armored recon of his own. Ah, got, he's got quite a few Bradleys that they can do quite a bit of damage, but they're pretty brutal to say the least. Also got artillery coming in from myself. I must have spotted them apparently. And there we go. We might be able to get a few shots on the uh, Bradleys. At least managing to stun them, doing a bit of damage here and there. We're at least managing to spot them. So hopefully I should be able to um, take them out with a bit more direct fire. Ah, it looks like I actually managed to uh, spot them first. And thankfully the Scorpions all the way back here. So these T62s managing, managing to get a few shots off of them. But um, yeah, now the Bradley is going to be firing off their missiles, managing to get a couple of hits off. Oh, killing two T62s. God damn, that kind of sucks. So Bradley's are certainly yeah, starting to pay for themselves, eh? Artillery's starting to do a bit of damage there as well. As for the ally on the right, yeah, mostly has... Uh, oh, main battle tank prototypes, interesting. So there's the ones with the ATGMs and uh, yeah, basically a mixture of uh, light and uh, heavy stuff. Not much in terms of infantry there. At the same time we've got armored recon and a uh, couple of uh, light, mostly light stuff uh, in uh, coming there, so... We should be uh, trying to make use of the artillery as much as possible, but uh, well, and yeah, now my um, allies cresting this uh, little hill here and most likely surprised me because I wouldn't have seen them before they uh, went over the hill due, due to the uh, elevation as you can see there. So now we've got some leopards and such engaging me. Thankfully, I do have um, these ATGM armed vehicles which should be able to do quite a bit of damage. Um, Unfortunately, probably could be using them against uh, heavier uh, stuff there, but uh, what can you do? The MBT also doing a bit of damage there. T55 starting to crumble, but they're incredibly cheap, so they're mostly acting as a screen there. And wow, these um, they got uh, missing quite a bit, but also doing quite a bit of the damage in there. So just have a look at uh, who's got what, um, how many uh, capture points, whatever you call victory points on the map. So yeah, NATO is surging ahead with 9 out of 14. We've only got 4 out of 14, and. Yes, as you can see, uh, yeah, we haven't even captured the points uh, to the rear of us, so yeah, definitely uh, needed uh, somewhat better uh, coordination. And yeah, it looks like we've got artillery coming in, the uh, MLRS actually trying to attack, and yeah, unfortunately all my guys are out of ammo, and Fagot's also uh, being forced to retreat as well. I lost one of them there, that's my uh, ally on the left. Uh, oh, he's actually bringing his helicopters to bear, and I believe these ones, are, yeah, they do have ATGMs, not incredibly good ones, but what the hell, not too bad. Uh, 
Yeah, like, unfortunately they've all run out of rockets, although I reckon they could, he, could, he could have still pressed on the attack there. I mean, these badly out these... If we just have a look at the information... Let's see, one, one, one... Yeah, well, one all over, but uh, yeah, still, I mean, HE should be able to get through that. But in the case, yeah, I managed to get... Um, Golf for myself, got crowd loads of Motosterovskis there, we're probably a bit um, overkill really, probably should have tried to split them up, trying to capture various points, but uh, well, what can you do, you live and learn, and meanwhile also sending in a couple of my own gunships on the left, uh, probably, oh and also sending a bit of uh, artillery to try to do a bit of damage there, why not, indeed, at the same time, yeah, they're starting to tr trying to attack me, yeah, my uh, little ATGM jeeps, and various other things are still managing to survive, so not taking too much damage there. And uh, as you can see, well, there's still a few points on the map that still um, haven't been captured. In fact, uh, if Glafford would uh, direct a few of his forces around here, he could capture them eat very easily, um, as I've done around here, as you can see. But uh, yeah, unfortunately, I'm uh, not really doing that. And uh, yeah, well, there we go, 8 to 5, though, so not too bad. Um, T55's getting uh, a bit of damage there. These, uh, what the hell are these? Oh, these are AMX Hots. Oh, okay, so ATGM armed. Um, vehicles that I probably uh, could have taken out um, my T-55s if I didn't push them all the way uh, forward, but uh, yeah, unfortunately yeah, basically getting them panics now, and yeah, now they're basically uh, routing, there's really flak panzers doing a bit of damage there, and these guys are getting a bit of panics as well, but mostly managing to stay in one piece, and yeah, now my T-55s really going to get screwed, oh, no, never mind, that missed, thank god. For some reason, I'm deciding to send my uh, armored recon there, maybe just to see what the hell they're doing, not entirely sure. But yeah, unfortunately 255 is not being able to do too much. And yeah, finally we've got some um, bit of an attack on my um Hello. Oh okay, interesting we have an attack there, but we've got a bit of an attack on the uh, golf sector and probably should be sending in the remainder of my infantry and vehicles to uh, handle this threat. Although then again they could also be just trying to draw me in, so I might have been thinking about that as uh, well, perhaps. But what the hell, we'll just see what's happening uh, over here. Chieftain's actually advancing on the uh, gunship helicopter, not something you see too often, and he really needs to get out of there as quickly as possible. Truth be told, though, it's um, the existence of small arms fire, I mentioned to take crap loads of shots, but really, Chieftain's are pretty damn slow. You really shouldn't run into a, into a, um, a situation where you're actually having to retreat your helicopters like that. They should be attacking these bastards from. Uh, long range. But, uh, yeah, he's still continuing to move his chieftains forward and uh, yeah, they're basically managing to absorb everything being thrown at him. Speaking of which, also got, um, okay, it looks like Nicopol's decided to dedicate more of his um, troops to uh, take out golf and we've also got NATO capturing a few more points as well, so they're very close to winning actually. I think this might be a, a bit of a quick game actually, uh, depending on how things go. And here comes more uh, rocket artillery. What should the BMPs? Um, I think there was a BMPs, BMPs trying to aim with the uh, yeah with the uh, main gun there. Probably should be sending a few more of these forward just to try to take them out. But so instead, I decided to send, to send my uh, Motostelskis back and keep these BMPs up here. I really should have just uh, yeah sent the remainder here to take out these uh, pretty um, light uh, vehicle force. But uh, oh, what can you do? Also, 255 is running into a bit of trouble there, sending them in almost unsupported. But ah, there we go. Just to say that, of course. We do thankfully have a, a couple of um, a nice little squad of uh, of um, anti-tank uh, anti-tank missile jeeps. For some reason, they're deciding to line themselves up like that. Not really sure why. Doing a bit of damage there. Two fifty-fives are taken out though, but my artillery is firing on them, and yeah, doing quite a bit of damage. There's leopards, but they're only cheap um, tanks for NATO. And wow, my artillery really getting a bead on. Uh, particular position that's about it's nowhere near where they should actually be shooting. They should probably be uh, re-aiming the artillery, but what can you do? In these um, ATGM jeeps uh, having, a, having a hell of a time just trying to take this bastard out, losing another one and almost running out of ammo. So yeah, at the very least forcing uh, NATO to retreat and that rocket is going to go off course. There you go. Well, that's just freaking dandy. While I uh, decide to keep um, I wonder if I managed to take out his command vehicle, because I'm pretty sure I did have a command vehicle there that uh, appears to be dead now, so at least I managed to do that much at the very least. And well, we still don't have these points, they're not bad. So yes, NATO is very close to winning, all they have to do is just capture a uh, couple more points. They've managed to capture these side ones here, which kind of sucks. And there we go. Maybe that just depends on uh, how long this game actually goes for. The time is actually counting up in this case, so we'll just have to see what uh, will happen. 
so yeah, as you can see, um, really nice. So all they have to do is just capture these points here, um, and they'll win. So as you can see, uh, yeah, it has been a, it's been a bit of a newbie game. It's not good, but you buy really. <laughs> Cute. Oh dear, so something tells me this is pretty much a foregone conclusion, although who knows, we might be able to make something happen, although yeah, I'm guessing most likely not, and wow, there's bloody weasels, I think they've got some, do they have, yep, AP1, HE1, so bloody really annoying uh, auto cannons, which basically allow them to damage uh, even uh, armored units, but uh, oh, what the hell, you just try to, um, oh, very nicely done, so glad for actually uh, stopping I think uh, I think I saw some just getting destroyed on the minimap there um, in terms of enemy vehicles, so at least managing to do that. But uh, really, they've got 13 out of 14 points. They just have to capture one of these two, or um, possibly one of these ones that we've already got, and uh, yeah, they'll be able to pretty much uh, win win the round there. So yeah, I'll have to watch out for that. So yes, I think um, it's pretty safe to say that uh, neither team was probably really used to playing. Um, crap, man, that's a crap load of. Uh, Bradley's not, and there we go, that managed to win, so... Interesting game indeed though, 14 points versus 5 points, uh, not bad, on the airfield map. So there you have it, um, until next time, this has been uh, Dame Didovich, signing off.